Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to another episode of Modern Warfare 3. In today's episode, we're going over what used to be my absolute favorite gun from COD 4, the G36C. It may not be my favorite gun here in Modern Warfare 3, but it is definitely an overlooked, underused, and underappreciated weapon. So I'm going to tell you some interesting things about this gun and hopefully get more people to use it, because it's so badass and it makes me so sad to see people not using it. The first thing you're going to want to know about the G36C is the first thing that everybody wants to know about every weapon in this game, and that's the damage. The G36 does 40 to 25 damage per shot, which means in all practical terms it's going to take you between 3 and 4 shots to kill, like I would say the majority of the assault rifles, and since you have a multiplier for headshots, your headshots to kill are going to be between 2 and 3, just kind of depending on your distance. One of the good things about the G36 is that it has an extremely high fire rate of 769 RPM. Now, while this may not seem too high compared to a lot of the machine pistols or submachine guns in the assault rifle class, and especially amongst the fully automatic assault rifles, 769 RPM is very, very high. I think the only thing that shoots faster than this is maybe the FAD, and the M4A1 shoots only barely faster, so this is a very fast firing assault rifle. When you combine the G36's high fire rate with its medium damage, you'll find that it has a very fast time to kill. The only fully automatic assault rifle that has a faster time to kill is the M4A1, and that's only by two one-hundredths of a second, which is almost negligible, but since the M4A1 has lower damage than the G36, over range, the G36 kills faster than the M4A1. So I would say that uh, for overall practical use, the G36C is probably the fastest killing fully automatic assault rifle in the game. The damage drop on this weapon is pretty average for assault rifles. Your drop distance starts at 23 meters and it ends, or the point at which your bullets do zero damage, is at 41 meters. However, since your bullets to kill only vary between 3 and 4, this doesn't affect your time to kill too much. It's not really that important of a statistic. The G36 is in an unusual place when it comes to recoil in Modern Warfare 3. Unlike uh, Call of Duty's past, Modern Warfare 3 tends to class weapons as being slow firing and extremely accurate and fi high firing and low accuracy. The G36 is somewhere in between the two. The weapon is by no means accurate, but it's very, very precise. The recoil kicks up very, very harshly. Let me make that clear. The recoil is going to kick straight up, so if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be difficult to control. But it only kicks straight up. It doesn't wobble side to side. It doesn't kick down, it doesn't really bounce randomly. It's almost as straight up as the MP7, so when it comes to uh, mastering this recoil or predicting how it's going to behave, it's very, very easy. I use this like a bullet hose. I just hold down the trigger, and since I play on console, I pull the uh, thumbstick down a little bit, or if I were playing on PC, I would just slowly drag the mouse down, and it's going to be a dead-on death laser that doesn't wobble to the sides. So, high recoil, but very predictable recoil. When it comes to reloading, the G36 is very unusual, um, mostly because this is one of the places where the statistics that I have and my practice and use with the gun vary quite differently. The numbers that I have say that the reload cancel time is going to be around 3 seconds, uh, a little bit slower if you've got uh, an empty clip and a little bit faster if you've got a full clip, and the reload cancel time being a second and a half. My practice with this and some video analysis in Sony Vegas seems to indicate that the reload cancel time is a little bit less than a second and a half, maybe a second 40, second 30 something like that, and that the animation is significantly slower than three seconds, often only taking, I would say, maybe two seconds, 1.89 seconds, something like that. So I'm going to say that the G36 is a very fast reloading gun, even though that my statistics say something very different, I can't ignore what's uh, plainly in front of my eyes. I don't normally cover raise and drop times on non-secondary weapons, but the G36C is an anomaly amongst assault rifles and a monster at raise and drop times. You can raise this weapon in half a second, and you can drop it in three-tenths of a second. To put this in perspective, the only thing that you can draw faster than the G36C is the 5.7 pistol, and you can't put away anything in this entire game faster, so its overall swap time is by far the fastest in this entire game. This makes the G36C ideal for overkill classes, so if you're running a sniper rifle or a riot shield and you want something powerful that you can draw very, very quickly, the G36C can absolutely do that. When you stack this with Sleight of Hand Pro so you get faster weapon swapping, you can pull this gun out in a quarter of a second, which is ridiculous. So keep that in mind with the G36. Really good for overkill. The last little bit of numbers today are common amongst all assault rifles. It's got a 90% run speed, your aim down to sight time is 3 tenths of a second, and your zoom when aiming down the iron sights is 1.35x, same as all the other assault rifles, nothing too special here. 
I'm bringing you two recommended classes for the G36 today. The first one is the class that I recommend for almost every assault rifle. I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but just slap a red dot sight on it and use kick. Kick helps mitigate some of that difficult upward recoil, and the red dot sight makes sure that you're able to aim very, very clearly and put your sights perfectly in the center of the target. The iron sights are a bit wonky, and sometimes it's hard to get them centered, and if you're turning, sometimes it's hard to see the enemy. A red dot sight gets rid of all those problems. This this is what I was talking about earlier. You just aim at the penis and it's going to kick all the way up to the chest to the head. If you have any sort of uh, recoil control with your thumbsticks or mouse, you can aim very, very effectively, even at pretty long ranges, shooting it at bursts and stuff. So it is always effective with red dot sight and kick. The next class is a little bit more complicated. I, you've probably seen this on some of the other assault rifles or submachine guns as well. Run it with extended mags and uh, focus. Normally I recommend extended mags and silencer or something like that, but I found that the muzzle flash on the G36 actually wasn't as big of a problem as other assault rifles. It seems to has, have less of a muzzle flash than other weapons, which is kind of odd. Also, while the iron sights are far from perfect, they are entirely doable. I don't have to have a dot sight or an ACOG sight or something you know, like that to make this uh, assault rifle work. Lastly, focus is a really good one here because you can't do long range with the iron sights, but you can do medium range and close range. However, in those engagements, you're going to be getting shot a lot. But since the G36C has a very high time to kill, you can kill your enemy first if you're not missing shots. Focus is going to make sure that the flinch doesn't wobble you around too much much and you'll be able to drop people very very effectively. Well guys, that's all for this episode of Modern Warfare 3 In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it, I hope that you learned something useful, and I hope that more of you will give the G36 a try. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering the M16A4. Oh god, the M16. What did they do to you? What did they do to you, M16? <laughs>